Oh, final reflections. I'm on my way to Fraser Motorcycles to take back the 23 Street Fighter V4S. Thank you, Greg, for lending me this bike for a couple of days. I have thoroughly enjoyed it. And I've got a decision to make is, uh, I've made one decision, I'm gonna sell the Aprilia to Wono. I'm gonna list that bike for sale shortly and I'm gonna replace it and this is now the lead candidate for um, for replacing that bike. This is special. I really, really enjoyed getting to know the Street Fighter. It is a case of don't judge a book by its cover and sometimes first impressions can be misleading, right? This bike, when you first get on it and ride out of a dealership, does around town just feel a little clunky, but I can tell you, when you get out, out of town, it is anything but that. This has got all of that Ducati character. It's got a few bumps and clunks and noises that Ducati's renowned for. Uh, and you know, it's got some frustrating elements like no fuel gauge. <laughs> no, not one I can see. Um, and you know, missing uh, missing features, but gee whiz, the fundamental experience of riding this out of peak hour is amazing. It's an incredible bike. It's so addictive. I love it. I really, really, as I get closer to Fraser Motorcycles, oh, I have that feeling of saying goodbye to a loved one. <laughs> it's like I'm feeling emotional letting this go. Um, it is really great. I don't, I don't know why anyone who wanted a Ducati uh, for the street, who wanted a you know, performance-oriented Ducati for the street, would bother buying a Panigale over this. This leaves the Panigale for dead. And I've owned two Panigales, and I've desperately tried to love them but they just have been too impractical for the road. And, oh, jeez, these potholes, man. Far out. Far out. Um, anyway, uh, if I did that on a Panigale, I reckon I'd be in bloody trouble. Look at them. Fuck, this is major arterial roads in and out of the city. What the hell? I pay 50% tax in this country. Council rates and, and GS and I'm going to put up with that far out and it's funny that the government will spend all the money on speed cameras and on you know people trying to stop you speeding but they'll let that go for weeks or months it's ridiculous ridiculous bloody hell oh. um, where were we before I was nearly absorbed into the core of the earth for the second time in two days. Crikey. Uh, yeah, look, I don't know why you'd buy a Panigale out of this. I mean, you wouldn't. I just don't... I mean, the only possible explanation for buying a Panigale out of this, other than because you want a track bike, obviously, is because you like the look of it better. But I tell you, this is a way better bike to ride. You back-to-back -back a Panigale with this on the street, it's not even close. Oh, it's not even like... It won't even be within... Yeah, it won't be close. Within Cooey! Why are you within Cooey? Cooey! Fuck these roads. Bikes all over the place because there's cracks and potholes in the road. It's not the bike's fault. Jesus. Um, yeah, it's it's awesome. Uh, look, I, I reckon if I rode this for a week, uh, I just reckon I'd love it more and more and more, which is, was my, that was my experience with the Multistrata as well. The more I rode it, the more I fell in love with it. Uh, and, um, yeah, really do enjoy that. But, but, all that said, the BMW M1000R remains my uh, favourite Hyper Naked. And, uh, in fact, probably my favourite bike of all time. So, it, it just sets a new benchmark on so many, in so many areas. I'll tell you where I can learn from this. If it, there, there are a couple of areas where the Ducati definitely beats the BMW. One is suspension. 
it is uh, really good on this it's brilliant actually I love it um, and also related to that the way the tank is sculpted the shape of it that's one area And the other actually is, uh, I reckon the handling balance on this is near on perfect. I think the BMW sacrifices a little bit of stability for agility, whereas this is probably the Goldilocks handling, handling um, bike. It really, really is the combination of suspension and handling are uh, standout features of the Street Fighter. I think the BMW's got it. Oh, actually, and the braking, right? I, I, got, I got, you know, I think it's got better brakes too. Um, so braking, suspension, handling. This is a bit of bike, but the BMW just puts it all together in a way that is more accessible and easier. And with that direct throttle on with the Bren tune, it, it elevates the bike. I think if you compare the stock BMW M1000R to the stock Street Fighter, it's going to be a closer contest. I still think the BMW is a bit of bike, even in, even in stock trim, uh, but it's closer. The, the Bren tune direct throttle combo on my BMW is a knockout punch. Okay, it really is a knockout punch. So, um, yeah. BMW wins, but it's a lot closer than you think, and in some areas that are really important, the Ducati wins, i.e. handling, just. Uh, braking, just. And suspension by a long way. It's got way, it, it's a way better road bike suspension-wise. You could buy the bike for that alone. So those are my closing reflections. Um, and the Tawano is, um, just, uh, yeah, look, it is showing its age. They need to revamp that format. It is feeling, when you get on it, it feels big and heavy and old compared to these. The Super Duke, I didn't ride the Evo, which is unfair. I just rode the standard one. And that's a bit of a one-trick pony, you know. It's that torque monster. And it's awesome, if you like that. But I think it gets left behind in most other departments. It's got surprisingly good mid-corner stability. Uh, but I do think it gets left behind in other departments. The last thing though I want to say to Ducati about this bike is I wish it had cruise control, I wish it had heel holds, I wish it had heated grips uh, and all that good stuff that the BMW's got. If it had those things, you know, we're starting to get to fine margins. Fine margins indeed. So those are my closing thoughts. Big thanks to Fraser and Greg at Fraser's Motorcycles. Great dealership. Uh, really helpful. And I will advise my... I will advise my millions of fans. Oh, oh Jesus. I will advise my millions of fans if I survive these potholes. I will advise them as to what I decide to do. Whether I buy the Ducati to go alongside the MR or I buy something else. I have got a bit of an interest in that uh, Diavel, the V4 Diavel. I think that's got the multi-engine in it. And as you know, I love that engine. I wouldn't mind giving that a whirl, a burl, a whirly burl, uh, at some point. So stay tuned, lots, lots to come. But for now, it's over and out from Exodus. See you later. Wow, well, two days on the Street Fighter and uh, back to back with the MR and the Tuono, and now I'm back on the Multi. It's been a motorcycling uh, feast, uh, uh, what do they call it? A smorgasbord. And um, getting back on the Multi, you know, you might think you jump back on the big girl and, uh, you know, she feels big. Uh, well, she doesn't. Feels awesome. Straight up feels awesome it's actually interesting I, the, the, there is a there is a difference when you get on a Ducati 
ask you what type of Ducati. Uh, if you're going on BMW, it feels a certain way. You're going on Ducati, it feels a certain way. The Ducatis do feel like with the controls, they feel compared to the BMW, they feel a little kind of relaxed. The controls. Uh, the BMW feels precise with its controls, and uh, and the, the Ducatis feel a bit more relaxed. And, and you do notice that, getting off the Street Fighter onto this, you don't notice huge differences immediately. Whereas you get off the BMW onto this, you do. And that's because of the general feel of different manufacturers, I reckon. Ah, so good. What a, what a few days riding. I am missing the Street Fighter. I feel like I've just broken up with a girlfriend. I'm missing it already. I really am. I, I, I actually am surprised. I didn't think I was gonna ha it was gonna have that impact on me. Uh, I'm still kind of half expecting that I'll just sort of get over it and forget about it. But I'm not sure that's gonna happen. Yeah, there is something special about it. Oh, I think motorcycling great. Isn't it great? Isn't it grand? Isn't it grand? The Harley over there with the young fella and his father. Motorcycling. Oh, what a great way to... It's a great lifestyle thing. To be able to do what I've just done the last couple of days. And, you know, then be creative with it. Make videos. It's so cool. Uh, I love this Multistrada. I wish they had better brakes, though. After that, that is one thing you notice straight up. The uh, Ducati... The Street Fighter's brakes. Oh, so good. Uh, the brakes were um, just quite incredible. Quite incredible. Not often braking leaves you breathless, but it really did. It was just so good. That's probably the biggest problem for the multi being bigger. The brakes aren't as good so you've really got to break earlier and uh, of course that second to first shift like that <laughs> it's a problem on this and it uh, yeah it's not that's not going away anytime soon but uh, yeah awesomeness awesomeness all around well, I, I, if I feel a little if I sound a little philosophical and a little kind of quieter than normal it's because I'm just kind of going oh, it's like jumping on the couch with a coldie after a long day. It's like, ah, so good. I'm so lucky to be able to ride these bikes, to be able to afford to buy bikes like that. Anyway, you know, the big, uh, the big question for me now is, what do I do with the two owner? I, I'm not riding it. It's sitting there. I'm not even, you know, it's it's got some great aspects to it. It's it's got super talky, responsive, but it just does feel out of its depth um, in that class. I wouldn't mind betting Aprilia are cooking up a revision of that. And when they do, and if it can catch up with the others, it's going to be an amazing, incredible bike, especially if they can keep that kind of power plant. Uh, maybe upgrade it, make it light or whatever, but uh, yeah, it's just the chassis, the braking, the electronics, handling, just not quite at the level of these others now. Anyway, yeah, so that, that's me leaving Fraser's, thanks Fraser's again, feeling somewhat philosophical and happy, and that is what it's all about. Hope you're enjoying the video. I'm trying to bring something just slightly different and uh, keeping it real. See you later.